Well, this morning, a walk was held in West Jordan to help raise awareness of suicide, something that affects thousands of families right here in Utah. New specialist Alice Cabrero spoke with some of them today. It can be difficult to get large groups of people to agree on almost anything these days. It really is. But everyone who came to Veterans Memorial Park in West Jordan Saturday morning agreed it still hurts. Oh, definitely. Yep. There is no doubt Kathy Kirby misses her son Ryland. He died two years ago after taking his own life. Ryland suffered with depression and some chronic migraines. It just kind of got to a point where he just... Yeah, he was just in too much pain. And I think that was the only way he could see a way out. She remembers feeling so alone at the time, but here she knows she's not alone because everyone at this park has a similar story. It's awkward, right? Nobody wants to talk about suicide until it's too late. But talking about it is important, which is why Katina Struble helped organize this event. I did. The out of darkness walk to help bring a tough topic into the light. We have to talk about it. And it's as simple as if you think somebody is even contemplating, just ask them, are you thinking about suicide? Struble says the person will either say no or yes. Either way, just checking in with someone can help. And if the answer is yes, there are a lot of ways to go forward. Call us. Call 988. Get a hold of somebody. There's help out there. Suicide is preventable. It's also going to hurt those you leave behind. It's going to have a huge effect. Like, look at all these people that have been affected. Jaden Schmidt is Ryland's girlfriend, still friendly with his family because she misses him deeply. It feels like you get to keep a piece of him again. Which is another reason why these walks are so important. In a way, it's to keep their loved ones alive. We'll never, ever, ever forget Ryland, but we feel like he's here today. This is an annual event, but Struble says she'd like to meet more often than that. So she's planning on hosting some socials and rallies throughout the year and then having this walk the big culmination of the year. She says it's important, and she's hoping to start doing those rallies and socials next year. In West Jordan, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News. Yes, it is very important. Thanks a lot, Alex. If you are struggling, please know help is available. Utah has a 24-hour suicide hotline, 988, where you can talk to a person live about what you are going through.